the Department of Energy. What did you talk about in the Department of Energy? I went to the Department of Energy today to um, meet with their team of people over there and sort of tell them about what I'm trying to do um, as far as spreading environmental awareness in racing. Um, so the sport that I'm a part of is a, a big popular sport in the U.S. and uh, I want to use my presence in the sport to um, spread environmental messages and make people more aware of the things that they can do to lead a more eco-friendly life. So that's what we were talking about. How do you feel about the oil spill in the And I'm figuring out that I don't think I went to the oil spill last month. Um, I was there in the beginning of May, actually, and uh, it's very awful. Um, that was a long time ago, and it's been spilling ever since, so I can only imagine how awful it really is now. Um, it's devastating, you know. We've, we've done a lot of damage to the ecosystem, and uh, it's going to take decades for us to recover, so it's a truly a, you know, a human and an environmental tragedy. What do you think the animals in the Gulf of Mexico You know, it's really sad to see the animals. And when, when I was there, it was actually before the oil had hit the shore. So I was still seeing animals, most of the animals were still healthy because the oil was still about 12 miles off the shore when I was there. Um, obviously now it's hit the shore, so it's affecting a lot more animals on land. Um, the birds and the turtles and the dolphins are starting to uh, wash up, and um, it's absolutely awful. And the sad thing about it is that for every bird that we see, for every turtle that we see, for every dolphin that we see that has died from the spill, you know, there's tons more that we'll never see. It's really, it's really awful, and I hope they get it under control soon. And I hope that this will be a wake-up call for America to, you know, wean ourselves off our addiction to oil and to start using clean, renewable energy like wind and the sun. And, uh, we need to move away from the fossil fuels. Yeah, I think it's gonna end in August. I hope so. So, do you have any ideas how to stop the oil from leaking? You know, they've tried so many things and I'm, you know, because I don't work in that field and I'm, I'm not an expert about oil, I don't know how to stop it. So many people have, you know, come up with ideas um, and I think the big issue is that the people who were doing the drilling should have known how to stop it ahead of time. They should have had safety measures in place so that this never happened and they didn't and that's the big problem is the people that drill at those deep levels should be able to stop it. And the sad thing is, and the scary thing is, is that they can't. And so if they can't stop it from leaking, then they shouldn't be allowed to drill in the first place. What, kind, what can kids do to help the, anim the animals in the Gulf? You know, I think you can help the animals in the Gulf by, uh, by supporting organizations and, and promoting environmental awareness to your friends. You know, like, like you're doing now through this interview, share with your friends what you're learning about clean energy and what you're learning about the Gulf. Write to your senators, write to your congressmen and tell them that you want America and the place that you want to live, you want to be a clean place without oil in the ocean and you want no more oil. So can you tell me about being a race car dri driver? Is it hard? Is it easy? Um, the hardest part about race car driving, actually for me, the, the driving part comes more natural. Uh, the difficult part of it is getting the sponsorship to stay on the track because it's very expensive to race. Um, so that's probably my biggest challenge. But as far as driving the actual car, it's not that hard. A race car is very similar to a normal car. Um, we're just going faster and the race car is set up to go a lot faster. So it's, it's not as hard as you might think. Maybe when you're older you can test drive one and then you tell me if it's easy or not. <laughs> Are there lots of buttons and gears to learn in a race car? You know, no. It's actually very similar to driving a regular car. The thing that's missing is um, there's no comfort in the race car. So there's no air conditioning. There's no, uh, there's no music. There's, there's no cushy the, seats. There's no cushy seats. It's very um, uncomfortable. You feel every bump that's on the racetrack, and 
that actually helps us control the race car better. So it's not a comfortable ride, but it's a fun ride. What do you, what, so what kinds, what kind of things do you, do you like to do at home? I have really been enjoying gardening lately. Um, we have a worm compost, so we've got a veggie garden that's just taking off from our compost, and I like making salads, and we have cucumbers, and fresh tomatoes, and all kinds of herbs, and uh, so I'm really, when I'm at home, I really enjoy gardening, and um, I also work really hard on my websites where I'm talking about things like the oil spill and environmental things and uh, filming videos like you're doing right now, um, sort of addressing these environmental issues and hopefully educating more people. I heard you have a healthy, yummy garden. What kinds of things do you have in your garden? Okay, so I've got three different kinds of tomato plants. Um, I've got romaine lettuce. I've got uh, all different kinds of peppers. I think I've got like four different kinds of peppers in there. Um, cucumbers. The cucumber plant is gigantic. And my favorite plant right now is actually my blueberry bush. Because just about every morning I go out and I can get a handful of blueberries. And I love blueberries. <laughs> well, thanks, Leilani, for answering all my questions. You're welcome. Thank you.